Yo. Oh my god. I swear to god this is a coincidence. Holy crap. I don't know how big that thing is, but I think we're gonna try and catch it. Okay. Okay. Hang on. Gotta put this down. All right guys, I'm pretty deep in the Florida Everglades right now, walking around in water. Last time I was at this spot, there was no water at all. So uh, my experience in Florida is limited, but I guess this is somewhat of a seasonal thing because I've walked maybe a mile and none of it has been on land. So we're gonna be out here pretty much until dark. I'm gonna stay as late as I can before I lose my sanity. Oh, what's this? Is it an eel? Oh, got away. It was an amphiuma or something. Anyway, we're gonna kick it off, see what we can find. All right, guys, I just stumbled upon a barred owl. He's looking at me right now. It's kind of obscured by the branches. I had a really good look at him, but uh, camera angle's just all right. But clear view of the face, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna keep hiking around though. All right, guys, sun's getting a little lower in the sky, so we're going to keep moving, see what else we can find. Check this out. It's a raft of fire ants. Should I poke it? I'm actually not going to poke it because these guys suck. I think I kicked one of these earlier. Cause I was just getting bites all over my legs and I thought they were mosquitoes, but I think it was a cluster of these guys I must have kicked because I very quickly realized it was not mosquitoes. Yo, oh my God. I swear to God, this is a coincidence. I just started filming that bird. And there's a huge snake crossing up there. That's either a diamondback or a big cottonmouth. Oh my God, it's a diamondback. Dude. Holy Oh my God, I swear that was a coincidence. This is the craziest thing ever. Oh my God. Holy Look at this thing. Dude, I was filming that heron and the freaking diamondback came out right in front of it. It's a beautiful one too. This is insane. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can safely get it back out into the open water, but what the hell? It, it, it's gonna be a difficult task and I gotta try to do it safely. Man, that sounds like it going off. I'm shaking. I'm in disbelief. Like, holy crap. That diamondback came out of nowhere. I was recording and it crossed the water. The trail. That's insane. All right, guys, so I've switched locations. I'm still super gassed up about that rattlesnake, but uh, it just was not safe to try to get that thing out of the bushes. I realized that when I was grabbing a stick, it went deeper in and I was like, you know what? I'm going to be rational here, I'm going to calm my excitement, and I'm going to just let it go on its way. And I also couldn't find it, it was super camouflaged, and I didn't want to just tromp around in front of it, risk getting bit all the way out there. So I made it back to the car in time for dusk, and right now is when snakes really start to move, in my opinion. So I found some dry land, and we're trying out a different spot to hike. Alright guys, just came across a little ribbon snake, stretched out on the trail here. Look at that. He's on to me. Kind of neat looking. Let me go ahead and pick him up. That's funny. 
pretty cool. Being that it's cold back home, we're happy to see any snakes, even if it's a kind of stinky ribbon snake. Good sign snakes are on the move. I'm gonna put them back down and let them go on his way. Slurp. All right, guys, just noticed something in this tree. Oh yeah, look at that. That is a very large Cuban tree frog. Called a Cuban tree frog because it is not native from Cuba, not Florida. But uh, they're kind of neat looking and I don't think they're going anywhere. Just kind of an un unfortunate invasive like many others in Florida. I'll show you guys how big this is. Boop, oh, he's not moving. All right, I'm not gonna touch them too much. These guys are actually pretty poisonous and it can be pretty irritating if you touch your eyes, so I'm gonna keep looking around. All right, guys, look at these stick insects. We've got one set right here. Whoa. Look at that thing. These ones aren't huge, but then look over here. Those ones are pretty big. Those are weird. Look, there's one on top of the other two. Look how tiny that little one is. I would imagine one is a male, one is a female. Maybe it's maybe the male is the little guy on the back. I'd have to guess that that's the case. Anyway, ooh, we're gonna leave him alone. Uh, holy crap. I don't know how big that thing is, but I think we're gonna try and catch it. Uh oh, it's starting to move. I gotta, gotta try to grab this thing. Let's try to find the head. Got the head, okay. Okay, 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 hang on, gotta put this down. All right guys, uh, I only have this somewhat under control. <laughs> wow, that is a, quite the ankle weight. I'm gonna have to pull this guy off before kind of cuts off blood flow to my foot, but uh, yeah, uh, that's getting quite tight. Uh, Burmese python though, invasive species, very well known in the Everglades here. Okay, he's getting tighter on my leg, give me a second. I'm gonna have to figure out how to film because I'm alone. Oh. Uh, okay guys, well, we have caught ourselves a I would say medium-sized Burmese python. I am alone out here, so I do not have someone to help me with this thing. <laughs> Bugs are in my face. It's taken quite a bit of effort to wrestle this thing, but man, what an evening we're having. I mean, this is obviously exciting and fun content for the channel. A little bit sad because these guys are invasive here in the Florida Everglades, and uh, I know that is a very well-known fact, and it's been all over the news, but um, you know, if you think about a snake this large, and this isn't even a big one, but think about a snake this large, then think about one that's 215 pounds. I think that is supposedly the heaviest one that's been found in Florida. And just imagine how much it takes in terms of biomass, so food that the snake is eating for it to get that size. Mammals, birds, alligators, basically anything like that. And the medium-sized mammal population, so the mesomammal population, has been absolutely decimated in the Florida Everglades. So things like raccoons, opossums, skunks, uh, those sorts of animals are way less abundant than they used to be. Probably the most alarming thing to me, a snake lover, is that these guys have introduced a parasite. I do not know the name off the top of my head, but the abbreviation for it is RO, and essentially it's this lung parasite. It gets into the ecosystem via 
Burmese python feces. It's native to Southeast Asia like these guys are. And then it gets into frogs. And then, of course, they get into the snakes and, uh, I mean, obviously can cause fatality in things like king snakes, rattlesnakes, um, basically all the native snake species here that either eat other snakes or eat frogs. So, <coughs> swallowed a bug. That being said, it is just a super cool encounter to be able to see a snake this big in the wild. Uh, these guys are really something to tussle with. I can't imagine handling one bigger than this on my own out here. Uh, it's much more tired, but I spent a good 15 minutes wrestling with it off camera because, uh, I mean, look at this thing. I mean, that much meat. And again, not a huge snake, but uh, relatively speaking, a very difficult and large snake to uh, get a handle on. So pretty interesting. I'm going to try to get in touch with a friend that actually removes these from the Everglades because I don't really feel uh, guilt-free releasing this thing back into the Everglades, even though at this point they are uh, completely out of control. So I've actually gotten this thing to chill out a little bit, which is nice. He's like, I've heard this, you know, that they put up their fight and then they can just totally <laughs> run out of steam. He almost looked dead. He's not dead, but uh, he's just totally out of gas. Wow. Alright, well, now that he's a little bit more manageable, I guess I'm gonna see if I can get a hold of someone, and uh, yeah, we'll see what to do with this guy. Alright guys, um, I handed over that berm to someone that is uh, legally allowed to transport and euthanize it which uh, I feel really conflicted about, you know. Um, obviously, from a logical standpoint, I did the right thing, and, you know, it, it's not good that Burmese pythons are in the Everglades. But that being said, uh, it doesn't take away from it being super sad as someone that loves snakes to essentially kill a snake, um, especially such a beautiful animal like that. Like, it, it's really just a sad situation um, it's a bummer that they're here in the first place and you know, it's not the snakes fault. It's just doing what snakes do super unfortunate, but um, You know it will be humanely removed from the Everglades But yeah, I can't say I don't feel a little bummed out about it It does take away a lot of the excitement that I felt when I found that thing. So uh, Anyway, I'm gonna do some cruising and a little more shining and see if I can find some other things tonight, but yeah, feeling a little meh. Look at this. Oh, he's gone. So that garter snake was trying to eat the remnants of this frog. He's taken off quick, but he's out foraging. Nice garter. I guess we'll pick him up at this point. Whoa. Kind of cool. There's definitely a different look to the garters down in Florida. Alright buddy, stay out of the road. Stick to uh, maybe not flat frogs, I don't know. Look at these big roaches that they have in South Florida. Pretty crazy. Not anything to worry about or anything like that, but definitely uh, a little freaky. So I was just kicking up this grass, and check out this scorpion. That's super cool. That's like a relatively large scorpion for Weesh! Sorry, for down this way. I don't know if it's just like some sort of bark scorpion. Comment below if you know what kind of scorpion this is, but uh. Pretty intriguing. Guys, check it out. That is a beautiful corn snake. Wow. I don't know that I've really seen any from this area. Whoa. <laughs> and check that out. Whoa. It's cranky, but 
Look at the colors on it. I don't think I've seen a, an adult corn snake from this far south before. I know in the Keys they look really interesting. We're not quite in the Keys, but this guy's chewing on me. It's a neat looking snake. Oh man, snakes are still moving tonight, which is awesome. I thought for a second, I didn't really have a good look at it, but I almost thought that this was our Brooks King. It was just kind of like a shiny pattern snake in the headlights. And I uh, thought we got lucky, but I mean, not unhappy to see this thing. Pretty cool. I'm gonna make sure it gets off the road. It was going that way. All right, sir, be safe out there. Look how long it is too. I don't know if it's just like a skinny individual or is that just the build of them down here, but it's pretty neat. All right, guys, I'm just getting to my camp for the night, but I couldn't help but showcase the size of this toad. Look at that guy. He's cool. He's a southern toad, which is totally a native species. I had no idea that they got this big. He just looks different than the uh, American toads we have back home, but I don't know. There's something different about the face, uh, but commonly you'll see these giant American toads moving around in the spring, like this size, or occasionally throughout the year you'll come across a real giant like this, but I don't think I've ever seen it in southern toads, so I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah, look at those ridges on the head. It's definitely different. Stay out of the road, buddy. It's so funny. All right, guys, super fun night out here. Uh, really cool getting to see my first berm, uh, and that, I'm still kind of in awe of what went down with that diamond back. I still need to look at the footage, and I'm excited, but also nervous for if I missed getting that on camera or anything like that, just because of the excitement and the craziness of the situation. But anyway, if you made it this far in the video, thanks for watching. I will catch you guys in the next one where we're still gonna be after our Brooks King snake. So hopefully we get lucky.